Well, there is one very cool rim fire for you guys. This is the Heritage Rough Rider Tactical Edition, and today we're gonna be checking this guy out, doing a little bit of a review on it, seeing some of the good, bad, and the ugly about this one, because there's a little bit of all of that. So stay tuned. This is a very unique, but very cool rifle. It's a revolver, it's a pistol. What is it? I don't know, but it's dang fun. But it does have a few little downsides, maybe. Are they worth it? I haven't really seen many other pew pews like this one before. It's a revolver, it's a rifle. Kind of dang unique. They offer this in 22 long rifle and 22 magnum. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe you can get it in one or the other or with both, just depending on how you order it. So I got mine with both cylinders because I just really wanted to see how this thing would rip with some 22 Magnum, of course. I mean, who wouldn't? So that's one of the very cool things about this is that you can easily swap this back and forth from 22 Long Rifle to 22 Magnum, back and forth with a quick swap of that cylinder. And it stays pretty much dead on sighted, as I'll show you guys later on in this video. So that's another cool thing. So we're gonna just continue talking about the cool things here for a minute, and then we'll get into a few of the things that I found to be maybe not so cool or not so awesome about it. So just, of course, they call it the tactical edition and it wouldn't be tactical if it didn't have a easy way for mounting up options. So they've got a pick rail installed from the factory right there for you to get whatever sort of optic you want mounted on top there nice and easily. And although it might be a little uh, pointless, we'll see later on uh, whether or not it does too much, but it does have a threaded barrel right there, so you could add a suppressor to it. Now, a lot of the noise on a revolver is actually coming out from this gap right here on the cylinder. So I'm wondering how much that really will quiet it down, but I'll test that out. Now, of course, this is not just a revolver, it's a rifle-ish revolver. So that's sort of the another cool thing right there. It's got a stock. You can shoulder the thing and um, you know you want to be very careful where you hold it. This is their suggested point of holding. Um, but if you're you know resting that on something you could go like this. But definitely the point is that you'd never want to have your fingers anywhere forward or up here around the cylinder because you're going to get blasted as that air comes out from the side and powder and everything and it could potentially hurt uh, a little bit or a lot of it, especially if you're shooting those 22 Magnums. So definitely be careful where you hold this guy. And that's kind of where we'll start with a few of the things that I think are sort of less than cool about this. And that is really that you have to be very careful. And that's not necessarily less than cool. That's just something that you have to keep in mind as you're using the gun that you'd want to not shoot it like you would shoot a normal rifle. And that means not gripping it anywhere forward of this point right here at the trigger. So you've got to figure out something that works for you that, uh, I mean, this right here seems to work pretty good, but there, that is that sort of limiting factor involved. Another thing, because it's a revolver and because there's that gas escaping from right there at the cylinder, uh, sort of barrel conjunction, you're putting it real pretty close to your face and there's a fair amount of uh, gas and, and even unburnt powder that will oftentimes sort of hit you in the face. So it's not, it's, it, it's fun to shoot. Um, but I guess you got to just kind of man up about it. You know I mean? Literally, I was like brushing the unburnt powder out of my, out of my beard and stuff. So um, there's definitely that effect to it. Um, and then sort of just right in line with that, I would say that most 22s, especially a rifle-ish sort of a thing with a long, longer barrel anyways, you could shoot maybe once or twice without ear protection on. You know, um, it's not recommended but if you had to you know because this thing's got swivel studs on it right there and a sling that comes with it you could have this on your back be 
going around the ranch doing your daily duties and always have this guy handy and if you see some sort of varmint especially like a coyote you need to take him out with that 22 magnum go up to take your shot and if you don't have ear pros on this thing is gonna ring your bell trust me i can tell you from firsthand experience and that was just with a 22 long rifle i can only imagine what it would be like with a 22 magnum just that close to your face and all that gas escaping out of there if you don't have ear protection on it's gonna feel like you just got punched in the side of the head so it, it's it's kind of one of those things where it's like it's a it's a rancher tactical rancher the rough rider have it on you at all times while you're out on the ranch but also make sure that you've got in your pocket even just your little ear pros that you can slap in before you take a shot because if you don't you're probably going to regret it so that's kind of really the end of the bat other than that this thing is a blast it's so much fun to shoot i mean just as with any revolverish, especially this older cowboy style would be it's not going to be fast on the reloads so they call it the the rancher uh rough rider tactical but it's not really uh tactical on the reloading aspect because you have to flick that open get it half cocked you know unload each individual round like that and then load each individual around again and then you're ready to shoot so obviously i mean that's sort of the obvious rundown but just uh putting it out there for argument's sake that you know six shots and then you're going to be down for a good minute after that to get reloaded so the the gun does have a safety right here which you also have to remember to engage during uh, reloads and then take off when you're ready to shoot that guy again otherwise it will not shoot it allows you to cycle it but it just won't fire when that safety is engaged so I mean I guess there you have it guys that's a pretty unique pretty awesome looking little uh, 22 rimfire is it not so let's go ahead and go watch it shoot some more. I know you guys have been watching me plink with it so far, but let's go ahead and take this on over and set up a little range from 50 yard accuracy testing with the 22 long rifles and with the 22 magnums, just using this Viridian RFX 44 green dot on there and see what kind of accuracy results we can get under that scenario. All right, six of those. Ugh, not a super fun gun to shoot from the bench. All right, well those 22 Magnums shoot really nice actually. That's cool to see. You can literally swap out your cylinder and pretty much have the same point of aim, not have to change anything other than 
the ammo and the cylinder. Guys, so here it is, the anechoic 22 cal suppressor can I've been waiting on to finish this review out with. As I mentioned, you know, there at a certain point in this video, I'm sure this gun comes with a threaded end. Now, that's cool because, I mean, look what you can do. You can definitely finish off your cowboy space gun pretty nicely with the suppressor on the end there. But I, I sort of had a feeling that it wasn't going to exactly really do what you hoped it would do just like you might expect on any sort of a revolver and that's because it's just going to actually cause more back pressure and create more gas that escapes from right here so and i've proven that to be true in my testing um you know maybe it makes it just ever so slightly quieter but still not as quiet as you want it to be to be able to go without your ear pros so have to throw this guy in right here and i'm even running the shorts in this the cci uh shorts to get it as literally as quiet as just as absolutely possible so i'm going to show you guys just a few shots hear what it sounds like from sort of the frontal perspective there all right so there it is um yeah, I mean, I tried a few shots without this ear pro in and it still rang my ears. So I can tell, like I say, it's ever so slightly quieter. So, I mean, if you've got a can and you've got this guy, you know, throw it on there and give it a shot. But it's definitely not going to make it a, uh, a silent uh, gun or even make it so that you could really use it um, for even more than a couple shots, you know, and really at all um, without sort of ringing your bell uh, if you don't have your ear pros in. So that's what I was at least hoping it might do. But, you know, like I say, in all logic, I kind of knew that it wouldn't. Now, what would be really cool, uh, Heritage, if you guys are listening, is if you would make a threaded version of this guy right here. Now, if I was able to thread this onto my mare's leg, now we'd really be talking. So please, Heritage, do something about that. Make one of these, because that would actually be really quiet. This guy right here is pretty dang quiet just as it is, because you don't have any gas escaping. It's not a semi-auto action, uh, you know, fairly long barrel for 22 cal. So, you you know, medium-sized barrel, let's say, for a 22 cal, So it, and it'll run even those shorts. So you throw some of the shorts in there, this thing is already just about like literally backyard friendly. Then if you were able to add this guy on there, man, now we would be like dead silent and so much fun. So please, Heritage, make me this. Make this happen right here. Please, Heritage, I want this. Guys, well, there you have it. The Heritage Rough Rider Rancher Tactical. This thing is pretty dang fun, but is it everything I hoped it would be? No. So if you got a couple hundred bucks that you just really got burned in a hole in your pocket and you want to buy a 22 revolver, rifle, tactical, futuristic cowboy gun, I mean, definitely this thing fits the bill. But I think there's a few things that they kind of missed on as far as, you know, this is sort of not very useful. And, um, you know, having that revolver action really close to your face makes shooting 22 mean that you've got to wear ear pros which is sort of unusual especially for a 22 with such a long barrel right so i don't know guys what what do you say about this thing let me know in the comments down below and if you like this video today hang out with me some more check out one of the other couple of videos i've got up on screen right now support the channel smash the sponsor links do all that good stuff and until next time shoot straight stay free i love y'all